All right, welcome back to Adobe Photoshop. And today we're gonna to do another quick tutorial and this one is going to be on color adjustments. Just as a reminder, if you wanna come up here, you can go to image adjustments. Here are your color adjustments. Everything in here affects color. The ones we're gonna be focusing on are hue saturation, color balance, and then one that we don't see here, which is selective color. That is to work destructively. You can also go to layer new adjustment layer. This is to make a layer adjustment. And then here are your options there. You can also come over here and you can make a selection this way. So we could go to color balance, hue saturation right there. Here is selective color. That is one way. And then lastly, you can come on over here. Color balance is that icon to the left of it. That is hue saturation. And lastly, right here, this is selective color. So let's take a look at the the difference between the two, because there's actually a huge difference. We're going to go ahead and use color balance first which is that kind of weighing icon. And we'll click on that and make that adjustment. Now we're doing this globally. We're not gonna do anything selectively here. And color balance is something that I rarely actually use inside of Adobe Photoshop. And the reason is because most of this general color correcting I'm doing in Adobe Camera Raw. But what it does here is allows you to go into the midtones, the shadows and the highlights. And going into the shadows, I actually find helpful sometimes. But by default, it goes to your midtones. And what it lets you do is shift the color. So if you want to make everything more green, you can go this way. The problem in this image is it's oversaturated and it's too yellow. So if I wanted to remove yellow, I could come over here. But what you can see here is now it's too red and it's still oversaturated. And that tends to be the problem in photography that you need to shift the color or adjust it. You just can't make it more blue, more yellow, more magenta, more green, red, or cyan. It doesn't work like that. So if we come in here, I can get it closer. We still have that underlying issue in that it's completely oversaturated. We need to remove some of that saturation. Remember, you can isolate it so it's more towards the highlight areas that you're adjusting it or shadow areas. This doesn't mean that it doesn't affect the midtones, it's just more prevalent in the shadow areas. All right, let's turn that back off. The next one is the one that I use 99% of the time. And that is hue saturation. So we're gonna click that hue saturation and we're gonna get in here. Now, by default, you're gonna see the master showing up right here. That's not something that I'm gonna click on most likely. So what I'm doing is I'm looking at the image and what color is my issue color? In this case, it's gonna be red and yellow, but the majority of it is yellow in this image. So we're gonna go to yellow because that's the color we wanna affect. And we have three different adjustments here, hue, saturation, and lightness. Hue adjusts the color. Saturation will adjust how much of the color is in the image and that's gonna be an issue here. And then lightness, the brightness or darkness of the color. What we can do here is first shift that color. So if I go to the left, you can see it's making it kind of a more red. And if I go to the right, it's making it more of a greenish yellow, which we don't want. So in this case, the issue here first was saturation. So let's lower our saturation so it starts to look normal. So I'm looking right here on our skin tone. Look, this image is not toned evenly. So it's doing too, a little bit too much here and not enough here. This is a situation where you would probably need to do this twice. Once is a normal adjustment and then selectively maybe go in here and adjust that area. We're not gonna spend that much time in it because these are quick tutorials. So I've desaturated this a lot. Now I can shift that color. So it was a little bit yellow and I can go a little bit this way to make it a little bit more red. And then I'm gonna go into the red channel because it's still a little bit red in some areas. And I can take the red and shift those towards the yellow. And what that's doing is it's making the reds closer to yellow and the yellows closer to reds. 
and it's making them all look closer together. I can once again lower the saturation and that looks much better right in here. And I could also brighten that value. So if I wanted to brighten the reds or darken the reds, I could do that right here by shifting that around. Look, a lot of times this is personal preference. Sometimes you're trying to make images look realistic and sometimes you're trying to make them look artificial or a specific look. So it really kind of depends on what you do, but this is how you shift that color around. Let's go to the next image. Another issue that we run into a lot is color cast. We're gonna assume that in this image, we don't want this cyan and blue color cast. And if you don't believe me, this is something I do right here. Look, I've got something called an action and it's called reduce cyan and blue. It's something that you get all the time. And I can click that one action and remove it. So how are we gonna remove that? Well, we're simply gonna go into our hue saturation. We're going to select the colors we don't like. So I said it was cyan and blue. So we'll go into cyan. If you wanna see if cyan is in your image, take your saturation level and go to the right. If it becomes neon or super bright, you've got a lot of cyan. So in this case, we're gonna knock that down. I'm not usually gonna make it all the way down cause it will make it like black and white and not look so good. But I'm gonna take about 75% of it out and then I'm gonna to go to the blue and I'm gonna remove that. Now the issue can arise that if you had like a person wearing a blue dress, it might suck that out and make that dress completely blue. So in that case, you would need to make a selection around that and select everything but the dress. But that's using hue saturation to do it. You can't use selective color because selective color doesn't have saturation. It can just shift the color. And that's pretty much why I don't use it a lot. But selective color can be good for getting colors really, really exact. So it's coming here to this image. So we've got this last image here. And if we tried color balance on it, right, we could make the image more green. We could make it more magenta. That's not gonna help. So we could cool this image off a little bit if we wanted, and then we could warm it up with some yellows. So if we wanted this image to be a little bit warmer, all right? So we can do that, it works. It shifts it around. We can make it a little warmer so instead of being a little cooler. Here's the difference. We can change the effect, so not on the midtones. If we wanted to warm up the shadows in the background, I could hit shadows and click this up, and we can warm that up a little bit. We'll add a little red to it as well. All right, so we're adjusting in that through color balance. Then we can come in here and we can go to hue saturation. And in hue saturation, we can shift the colors. Now, one of the issues that arises a lot of times when you photograph uh, reds and oranges in photography, they can either become neon or they're not the correct color. So you need to shift or adjust the color a little bit to make it more accurate to be true to life. So we've got this. We're gonna come down here to our properties. We're gonna to go to red, because that's our issue color. Remember the top slider is gonna change the color of those reds, you can see. I can make the green apples if I wanted to have green apples, though that's messing up right around here. It's something that we could work on and fix, but generally I'm not gonna make that big of a shift. So I can make the apples a little more red or I can make them a little more yellow. Look, there's no right way or wrong way. I'm gonna make them a little more red. And if I want to increase the saturation, I can increase the saturation. If I wanted to decrease the saturation a little bit, I could decrease it. I can make them brighter or I can make them a little bit darker by shifting that color around. Lastly, let's come down here to selective color. And you'll see right here in selective color that once again, we've got the reds, the yellows, the greens, the blues, but we also have whites, neutrals, and blacks. So you can adjust those as well. But we're gonna go into the red since that's what we're working with. When you come in here, you're gonna notice now, it looks similar to what you would see in color balance. We have the cyan, the magenta, and the yellow, meaning that if you come one way, it's gonna add the red, if you go this way, it's gonna add the cyan. Then we're gonna come this way and we're gonna add some green. And this way we're gonna add magenta. Come here, this way's blue, this way's yellow. And this way is black. It's just like adding some darkness to your image or the lightness channel. I'm gonna go ahead and reset that by coming down here, clicking that little button to reset it. And we're simply gonna come down here and just refine this color. And this can be helpful a lot of times in very 
problematic areas when you're trying to adjust color. Um, you'll notice there's no hue saturation there, or there is a, a lightness, there's no hue saturation. So if you need to adjust hue saturation, you definitely need to come up here and adjust that in that location. So we have color balance, hue saturation, and selective color. And those are all different ways inside of the program to shift the color around. Well, hopefully this quick tutorial has been helpful to all of you who requested it. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave those below and don't forget to subscribe.